Hey, how's it going? Just wanted to make a quick uh, video journal entry on what's been going on with me. I hope everything is good with you and everything's been okay. Please excuse me. I'm a little, I don't know, just kind of my energy is kind of drained. I, I feel a little down today because I bought uh, more alcohol just now. And again, it's going to be my last day to drink, you know, just like yesterday and day before and the day before that. But I, I kind of feel like today is going to be my last day to drink. Last two months ago, I made a video saying I quit my job. Turns out I didn't really end up quitting my job because a week after quitting, I begged for my job back to my boss. And he's cool and he gave me my job back and I worked for two more months. And the other day I quit my job again. And that's it. I quit my job. I've been trying to be a worker for the past year and six months or so. And I've held a job to prove, I don't know what, that I could be a part of society, a working man. And I sit here, fatter. I had to buy fat guy clothes, bigger sweater, bigger pants. I think I weigh about 220, 221 pounds. I sit here after working you know, I'm still lonely. I'm still in the same place. The only difference is I'm fatter and I'm older and I'm aged more. I've made some money this year. I lost some money and made some money. And I just had this uh, realization the other day that getting my job back and continuing to work for two months, I realized I'm just stressed out. You know, I'm stressed out trying to work and trying to, you know, do, do this normal person thing. And it's stressing me out. I'm drinking, I'm eating a lot. <clears throat> and, and it's because I have stressor, I have stressors in my life. I'm not just doing these things out of the blue. I'm doing these things because I'm stressed. So I had this realization, this epiphany, whatever the word is, that I need to make a drastic, radical change in my life. I need to make a change. I could only get fatter at this point and older. So I said, I need to quit my job. You know, I, I did, I went to the cannabis club when I was getting my car fixed and I bought uh, some weed and I smoked a joint the other day that helped me uh, have this realization. I smoked a little weed and I, I just, I was like, man, like, what am I doing? I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. So that's why I quit my job and I said, I need to make a drastic change. And I realized that everything has been falling into place. Finding this car making a little bit of my money back. Everything was falling into place for this realization that I had of making a drastic change in traveling. I bought this car, I'm so lucky, it's really dependable. And I'm gonna use this car to travel. I don't wanna, you know, really say my exact plans because when you travel there's no real plans because things change when you travel things may happen I want to travel and I, I just want to try to walk a lot and I first I need to convert this car I need to replace this seat with some kind of platform it's a sedan so it's not the easiest car to convert to a sleeper camper but I'll make videos on that I guess I'll just make a quick tour you know, I don't want to make, you know, one of those cheesy channels about, like, uh, living in your car and all that crap. I mean, I just, you know, I'm going to convert this car with a, a, a memory foam mattress here. I might, I will start today. 
I'm packing just all my things away in boxes and uh, my initial you know goal I need about three thousand dollars of uh, dental work here in the US and I'm gonna go try to see if I could go to Mexico first maybe down the Pacific Coast Highway or 101 and see if I could, I could get the work done maybe half the price so I need about two crowns and I have buckles you know, recessed gums from age and just some some cracked uh, fillings and stuff. So I'll go see if I can get my teeth fixed. And I can utilize my car to sleep in. I'd like to, you know, check out some beaches and that's it. Tonight I'm going to drink, I bought a pint of uh, gin. So my goal is, I stopped for two days the other week. I didn't get any shakes or anything. My goal is to drink this, finish it up, and um, try to just go sober while I can. Maybe drink again in the future, I don't know. I need to lose weight, that's my main goal. My main goal. But um, my ideas could be wrong, you know. I could be doing whatever I'm trying to do could be wrong bad idea but I think uh, sometimes in life you have to you have to try to make a radical change you have to if you're just in this stagnant situation I have to change I'm in a comfort zone you know I need I need to snap out of it you know I have very low self-esteem and I was trying to hold that job and uh, I gained this weight and I, I gained this big belly, you know. I have a lot of weight I'm carrying. And tucking in my pants and, and, and just being part of the society and my family and trying to be a part of like a, play a role in a family. And being small, you know, when I grab down here, it's just like a, uh, a rude awakening you know it's just a reality check every time and um, I think it's time to make a change and try to live out outside of the box and try an alternative lifestyle to what I've been doing which is nothing moving nowhere experiencing nothing just living this stagnant very sad life I know who I am. I have low self-esteem, very low self-esteem. You know, working for a year and six months, uh, you know, I could pat myself on the back. I've learned things, I've, I've, I've studied people, and uh, you know, it gained me a little confidence knowing that I could hold a job, and you know, I, I proved whatever I had to prove to myself. Tonight I'll drink the rest of this gin and I'm, I'm gonna stop drinking. I wanna stop drinking, stretch that two days I did the other week and travel and walk, convert my car, put away my things, and drive and see how you know this car, I think it'll take me. Get my teeth fixed, that'll help with my confidence and I know while I'm traveling out on the road, I'll lose weight, I know. Anyways, that's my update. A uh, little down, you know, I'm guilty because I bought the booze, but uh, now I have to drink it, and uh, that's it. Anyways, thank you so much, and um, till next time. Happy fall.